This is why I love the AMS 2 Pro, because if your filament snaps off inside the AMS, watch how simple this is to fix versus the old AMS. And yeah, I know it looks like the printer's panicking and doesn't know what to do, but it's just running through the motions. Probably the hardest thing you'll have to do is pull out all four of these filaments. Then you'll come around to the back and unplug the six pin connector and the power cord if you have the dryer hooked up. And make sure you grab that tube as well. I guess if you're still living in the 90s, you'll use these, but I don't use these. I always use my Fantic electric screwdriver set. It is absolutely amazing, especially after I put the Stay Ready logo on the side of it. it seems to work better. But for this project, we're not even going to need that. You just need one of these. So our issue was on lane number three. So of course, we're going to pull that bad boy out just by pressing in that little dinghy right there. I don't know what you call it. It's a piece of plastic. And then there's the bad guy right there take him to jail he's out of here and then plug your tube back in and you're actually done put your filaments back in and enjoy your day see ya